Meanwhile, official data from the Statistics Agency revealed that South Africa's unemployment rate increased for the third consecutive quarter, reaching 33.5% in the period of April to June this year. This marks the highest level since the government lifted COVID-19 restrictions in the second quarter of 2022, although it remains below the peak of 35.3% recorded in the last quarter of 2021. Moreover, when considering a broader definition of unemployment that includes discouraged job seekers, the rate climbed to 42.6% in the second quarter, up from 41.9% in the previous three months. The number of unemployed individuals also saw an uptick to 8.384 million in April to June, from 8.22 million in January to March. Head of South Africa Macroeconomic Research at Standard Bank Group, Dr. Alna Moulman, provides insights on this concerning trend. Statis A's household-based employment survey shows a decline in total employment in the second quarter relative to the first quarter of this year, although the first quarter data was quite strong. And so we wouldn't want to overemphasize this quarter-on-quarter -quarter decline particularly as employment is still reasonably resilient when we take a longer-term perspective. On a year-on-year -year basis, for example, we've seen nearly 2% growth in total employment. Most important, we think that the employment prospects have improved since the second quarter. We think that GDP will already be a little bit stronger in the second quarter, and generally we expect an uptrend in economic growth over the medium term. And that should be positive from an employment perspective. Having said that, at this stage, the SI consumer is still under considerable pressure. And it's only really from around the fourth quarter of this year when we think that there will be significant relief from both lower inflation and lower interest rates.